Hey guys, it's Kevin. In this video we're going to have a look at uh, my newly purchased Galaxy Nexus. Now I haven't opened it yet and so um, what I'm going to do is that firstly I'm going to do the, the unboxing and after that I'll do uh, the first power on and in separate videos I'll do uh, software and uh, hardware um, walkthrough. And now let's, uh, let's, let's start. Now I have uh, the box right here and uh, if you can see the box is not really that thick. It's a very small, neat, simple box really. Um, I think it's, it, it is the design of um, the design language of uh, Google products. Okay let's open it up. Now let's see what we have here. First of course the phone. Well this, well I thought it would be a very big phone but Actually, it's not as big as I thought it would be. Now we have some um, stickers on it. Let's just tear that out. It says ne Galaxy. It says Galaxy Nexus. And uh, if you have any questions, you can go to the Google.com/slash. Well, slash Nexus. I don't know if you can see that. Well, let's get a little more light. That yeah, doesn't matter. You can just go to the um, Google.com or just search Nexus. You'll get the help. Let's get that out of the way. Nice and clean. And of course, the back sticker. We have the uh, Google logo here and Samsung logo. Nothing else. This is the um, HSS, uh, HSPA Plus version, not the LTE version, apparently. Uh, by the way, I'm in Australia, so um, we don't have uh, LTE or any 4G equivalent here, which is um, it's okay. Um, that's the camera and the um, single flat. Now let's see what uh, what else we have in the box. Um, here's some, some manuals or uh, warranties or whatever uh, paperwork from Samsung. The quick start guide. Um, that's we're not gonna look at that. And um, okay, what's this? Okay, um, something for you to recycle. Okay, I guess it's, it's good to do something good for the environment. Okay, now um, we have here we have some have the um, headphone uh, with um, let's just get it out with uh, Samsung logo on it apparently. I don't, know if, I don't know if you can see that. Really it's hard to make the camera focus. Here we go. The Samsung logo on it. Uh, it's a standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Let's put it aside. And uh, here we have a USB cable, mini USB, pretty standard. Um, and uh, to connect this is the charger right here. It's a USB charger. Uh, it's the um, Australian version, so we have these this um, conductors uh, right here, and uh, this is where you plug in the, uh, the USB to charge. Okay, and uh, what else? And of course the battery. Just open up and uh, see the capacity of the battery. Um, well, it is a pretty huge battery by the size of it, and. Um, it's, uh, I don't know if you can see that clearly. It's uh, 17, 1750 million, which is um, pretty big. Okay, that's the battery. So, uh, after this I'm going to do a first power on, and uh, then the software and hardware walkthrough. So, um, let's, um, let's do it. Now, let's do the first power on. Uh, as you can see in front of me, I've got the phone, got the battery, and got my Vodafone SIM card. Now I'm going to just put them in. Uh, hold on. And you flip this, and you can open it up. Nice and easy. Put the SIM card in. I think it face, should face this way. Okay. Right. And, uh, and the battery. No, I should. All right. Okay. 
Now slide that in. Slide the two um, two things uh, into the slot, and uh, make sure you get it tight on every side, every point of on the edge. Okay, it's a bit hard to uh, put it in. Look. Um, all right. Make sure um, every point is pressed in until you hear the click. Okay, everything's in. Now let's let's power it on. Oh, I felt a, a little vibration. As you can see, the Google logo and the um, the lock key. I don't know if I should uh, do anything. I guess I shouldn't do anything. Just wait for the animation to finish, and uh, we'll um, we'll go into the system for the first time. Okay, start up. Let's start setting up my uh, Google Google account. Yeah, it's pretty nice animation in there. It's just gather information about your phone okay now I'm gonna type into my email address alright let's sign in we are signing in Okay, now we're in the system. It says make yourself at home. You can put your favorite apps here. Okay, what do I do? Uh, guess I click OK. Now we are in the system. Great. Okay, I'll see you guys in the uh, in another video I'm doing the uh, software and uh, hardware walkthrough. Now, the hardware. Um, this is a pretty simple phone actually. The hardware doesn't tell much. Um, you have the uh, volume rocker here on the left side and uh, at the bottom you have the mini USB USB port, a Mac and 3.5mm headphone jack and you have a uh, three dot that I assume some kind of a conductor. Uh, I'm still not sure what this is for. Um, might need uh, a little bit of more uh, exploration to to find out and you have the uh, the power button on the uh, on the right side of the um, right side of the fan which um, I think it's okay you can press it with your thumb when you're holding uh, in your right hand or when you're holding it in your left hand you can press it it's, it's a little bit awkward but I think uh, once you get used to it it's, it's fine and um, on the top there's nothing on on it and uh, here we have the front facing camera and uh, there's no physical button on the phone as you've probably seen in a lot of reviews okay that's the um, hardware let's see um, what's in what's in there first that's the uh, that's the lock screen if you press the lock you can either go left to the camera which has a very very nice very very nice interface that's good one picture is already done that's really great and I can sh we have a bunch of uh, options to share you can share uh, on Google Plus email and um, messages and whatever and if I um, have other op apps installed I could uh, have uh, other options yeah. let's go back and let's go see the uh, three buttons became be became three dots here very neat let's go back to home and um, it rotates back now let's see what's uh, what's in I haven't installed any third-party 
or uh, any apps that that's not built in there. So uh, let's see what's in there. We have Google Books, uh, the browser, calculator, and pretty much very standard um, Android stuff. And uh, there's the app over there. As you can see, there is a transitioning animation, which is really cool when I first saw the review. And uh, over at the uh, top right hand corner there is the um, uh, th there is the market you can just click that and go to the Android market okay, oops um, I'm gonna accept there you go okay let's go back and that's the uh, all the apps and if I move, move a little over there that's all the widgets um, more widgets, more widgets, and even more. Okay, um, that's all. That's there in the um, in the built-in apps. Let's go back, and we have a couple of screens here. I gotta say, I kind of really like the new Android design. And here you got your notifications and uh, setting is right here. You can click that and you can go to the settings. That's very convenient. And uh, let's go home. And uh, these are these are the favorite your favorite apps. And you can um, drag in there and form a, a folder. Or if you uh, if you don't want it, drag it out drag it out and if you want to put the camera in the favorite apps then you can just drag it in it's very simple and there are a couple of uh, it's very easy to create create um, photos here drag it in and drag it out and the uh, Google search bar is always up there on all the screens which is very convenient and when you go to the last screen and if you want to scroll further it gives you a little animation animation that tells you this is the last screen so mm, don't scroll further see that's uh, that's pretty good and you got the uh, management the toggle easy management and uh, I think uh, I think that's uh, that's it for now. Thanks.